Welcome back to another episode of Geeks Guide to, to Gear. This is kind of a different episode of Geeks Guide because we have Evan over there <laughs> and we're here. Today we're talking about hangboards or excuse me, training boards. Hangboards or training boards are really popular in the world of rock climbing. They're really great for strength training, working on your grip and getting stronger from your hands. Also working on your upper body weight training, stretching, as well as working on core exercises. Today we're gonna to talk about training boards. There's a couple different options available. The one that you see up here hanging above me in my kitchen, that is our custom wood training board. We also, from our friends at Lithic Climbing, just got a brand new, and I hope you saw the unboxing video, just got a brand new custom training board from our friends at Lithic. And we'll talk about the one behind me in a second, but first we're gonna go over to Joellen's house where I think she's outside with her husband, Rob, and they're working on the new Lithic 2020 hanging board. Thanks, Evan. Once again, this is the Lithic training board. Ideal for at-home workouts, and if you're stuck at home at quarantine and got nothing better to do, order this bad boy and get nice and swole. Uh, one of the awesome aspects of this piece of gear is that you can hang it pretty much anywhere. Right now, we're in our backyard in the tw in like this creepy shed. But yeah, you can hang it outside on a awning, above a door in your house, um, in the basement, on a tree. We've got the top and most um, positive hold. This would be ideal for whether you're warming up or just want to do kind of regular pull-ups. Um, you could even grab it around the side, both on the top and bottom, depending on how, how much difficulty you want to add. And progressing down the board, each, each hold or ledge gets a little smaller. Awesome. That board is so cool. I'm a little bit bummed out that you were the one that got to keep it uh, for now, but I'll steal it back from you eventually. But I really do also like though our wood custom hang boards. As you can see, these ones are made for interior use only and they are aesthetically very pleasing. This one is hanging on the wall in my kitchen. And the reason it's in my kitchen is because I use it on a day-to-day -day basis. So for me, I can be over here at the stove and I can be stirring the vegetables and I'll come back over and I'll hang for 10 seconds. And I'll come back over and I'll flip the chicken on the grill and then I'll come back in and hang. So it's a really cool thing to have on the wall and it's also a really interesting conversation piece when people come over and want to hang out and they're like, what is that thing? What is that for? Um, I find that adults and kids, everybody gets a kick out of it and it's a lot of fun. So like I said, the wood one is made for interior use only. So keep that in mind as well. Uh, so right off the bat, I'm just really impressed with the overall versatility and how well thought out it is. What I like about this board is that it it really is for like everyone. Like they thought about levels of climbers that would be using this board um super like right off the top like what rob was saying like super positive um hold and then it just progressively gets like more challenging um and ultimately the hardest one which is probably the slopers on either side um the pockets get progressively um more shallow the further you go down Whoa, 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 I don't want to get all competitive with you, Joe, but mine has all of that too, okay? So if you're talking about the hanging holes, mine have three as well. So the, the wood hang board we have does have the deep hole. They have the medium size here, and they've got a lot smaller one at the bottom. I've got two finger holes here. I've got a one hand hold here if I wanted to hang with one hand. I've also got those grips on the side. So I've got the same depth here, pretty similar to what was going on in the lithic board up at the top here. So by being able to grab onto these, I can do all of my hangs, I can do all of my core workouts. I also am able to hang backwards on mine as well to get up into here to do all of my core exercises. Couple of the pros um, to this board uh, with it being wood is that number one, like I said, it is very visually pleasing. And number two, well, not that the lithic board isn't, the lithic board is super cool too, and it's gonna make maybe a bolder statement at the same time. You can uh, have, for people with sensitive skin or people that just simply don't like that, that uh, the texture of a climbing hold, which is what the lithic board very much feels like. This one is very skin friendly as a pro. The only con to it is that it being so skin friendly and so smooth is that it is a little more slick. This one as a beginner board is going to be a little bit more difficult to use than the hang board or the training board that lithic has, the one that Joellen and Rob are using. This one is a little bit less um, easy to hang on to, let's say, because it is so smooth. This is a super grippy board because it is made of that um, climbing material. And so it's, you get a little bit more friction, a little bit more um, of a positive um, grip. Yeah, these bad boys, 
So I've got some nice star screws in there. Yeah, all of the hardware comes with the board, which is really nice. And apparently it's really good hardware. I don't know really much about awesome. hardware, but. So the next question that everyone I feel like always has is, how do I put this thing in? How difficult is it to install? And the answer is, it is really not very difficult to install. It is pretty user-friendly and it does go up rather quick. What I do recommend is if you are going to be putting up any hangboard, I do recommend a backer board. And those will be available on our website very soon too. We'll have True North Outpost custom backer boards for the wood hangboards, as well as the lithic hangboards. So you'll be able to put up a backer board before you install your hangboard. We'll also have installation instructions on our website, as well as we'll be posting a video to our YouTube page. And in every hangboard box, we'll include a link to those videos on our YouTube page. So you can check out how to install your hangboard at home. If you are watching this episode, this will be posted on a Friday coming up this following Monday. The lithic hangboards will be 10% off in our online store all week. So starting next week on Monday, the lithic hangboards will be 10% off in our store all week long. So make sure you go out and get those. They are custom made for your order and all of the colors will be up available as well. The lithic boards will come in a variety of colors. I think like six different colors for you to choose from. So make sure that you head on over and check those out. You can find all of this stuff at our website at truenorthoutpost.com. So thank you again, guys, for so much. Thank you, Joe, as well, and Rob, for being outside in the cold today to do this back and forth quarantine version of Geek's Guide to Gear. Make sure you guys go ahead and check out all of the social medias. And if you're not subscribed already, what the heck, subscribe, comment. We love to hear from you. And until next time, bye.